rich second generation turns against his father on his birthday when he discovers a secret his father has been hiding for 10 years. A crippled man suddenly appears at the birthday party. This man was supposed to die in a car accident caused by Selim. Selim is incredulous and asks his father, You told me he was dead, why is he still standing here? But his father seemed to have a hard time explaining. Not being able to get an answer, Selim had a complete emotional breakdown. We can imagine the pressure he has been under for so many years as a murderer. Selim left the party in anger. In the pouring rain, he went to his mother's grave. Selim told his mother everything that had caused him to fall apart. All those years of growing up under his father's pressure, only to be met with outright deception, made him hate his father even more. A distraught Selim returns to his grandmother's house, where Sarah has been sitting and waiting for him. After Selim hugged Sarah tightly, his cold heart finally felt warm. Selim tells Sarah what he's been through. She reassured him that no matter what happened to you, I will always be with you and we will face it together. As they talked, they fell asleep on the sofa, leaning on each other's bodies. After a while, the doorbell suddenly rang. Sarah opened the door and found Ollie. Ollie wanted to come and comfort his friend, but now it seemed that Selim didn't need him. The fact that the woman he loved was at his best friend's house, left Ollie with mixed feelings. He left without saying much. The next morning, Selim went home to his father and asked him why he had lied to him for so many years. Today, he must know the reason no matter what. Isa knew he couldn't keep the secret, so he told the full story of the accident. It turns out that ever since Selim's mother passed away, Selim has been drinking and getting into trouble. Selim blamed his father for his mother's death, so he ignored his father's discipline. Until the day Selim hit a man with his drunken car, the man was hit and suffered injuries that were not life-threatening. Isn't paid the injured man a large sum of money to make him disappear so that Selim would be more peaceful in the future. Then he lied to Selim that the man he hit was dead. It seemed like a good lie to him, but Isn't didn't realize how much pain it would cause Selim. Knowing the truth, Selim couldn't forgive his father anymore, so he said the worst possible thing to his father. The relationship between father and son was broken at that moment. A furious Isn't ordered his men to find the injured man immediately. He wanted to know why the injured man had suddenly appeared at the party, but his men said that the injured man had run away. Selim's stepmother, who was sitting on the sidelines, was relieved to hear this, so she was the one who bribed the injured man to show up at the party. She did it to ruin Selim's relationship with his father because she was pregnant. Only when the father and son turn against each other can her child become the heir to the family. Now it seems that her goal will soon be realized. Selim's sister knew that the family would fall apart sooner or later if they kept fighting like this. So she told her grandma about it, when in fact, grandma was the real head of the family. Meanwhile, the hotel where Sarah works is getting busy because they've received a notice that the hotel's top boss is coming soon. They all wonder who the real owner of the hotel is. On the other hand, Selim went to the airport early to receive Grandma. Grandma is very fond of her only grandson, but Grandma is old and has a bad heart. If it wasn't for this emergency, she wouldn't have traveled so far by plane. Selim took Grandma to the his family hotel. The manager of the hotel rushed up to greet them and asked Grandma if she needed to be accompanied. Grandma said no because she was ready to go back to her room. Grandma told Selim to leave and took the elevator alone to the top floor of the hotel where she met Sarah, who was cleaning. Sarah was pushing a cleaning cart to the elevator. Grandma asked Sarah why she didn't take the staff elevator. Sarah said the staff elevator was out of order. Grandma didn't make a fuss. Little did she know that Sarah was her grandson's girlfriend. Sarah was very curious about this imposing old lady because the guests who could live on the top floor of the hotel were all rich and famous. When she saw the old lady enter the room they had prepared for her boss, Sarah realized that she was her boss. And it was Sarah's present curiosity that allowed her to save Grandma's life a short time later. Grandma called Selim's father over to the hotel as soon as she arrived. Grandma did him no favors and scolded her son. <laughs> then Grandma mentioned Selim's stepmother. Ne idüyü belirsiz kadınla yaptığın talihsiz evlilik her kadın yüzünde torunlarım üzülürse hele ki Selim tahmin edemeyeceğiz ama ben yaşarken torunlarımı üzmeye kimsenin ama kimsenin gücü yet. It's clear that Grandma is also very unhappy with Selim's stepmother, and his stepmother is plotting to transfer the company's assets. A grandmother had a heart attack in a hotel and collapsed on the floor. The waitress at the door heard a vase breaking. She knew that the room was occupied by an old woman. Concerned, she knocked on the door, but she got no answer. So Sarah used her employee card to open the door. Then she found Grandma on the floor. Grandma was taken by ambulance to the hospital for treatment. Sarah called Selim. Selim came to the hospital immediately. 
The doctor said that Grandma was lucky to be taken to the hospital in time, and her life was no longer in danger. Selim's worries were put aside. Then Selim's father also came. Selim was still upset about his father deceiving him. As soon as they met, a heated argument broke out. Grandma woke up in the middle of it. She told Selim to leave the room. She had something to say to his father. After Selim left the room, Grandma told her son, You should apologize to Selim and admit that it was all your fault. That's how you can make things right with your son. Apparently Grandma's body is in such a state that he has to agree to whatever she says to. And outside the door, Selim was still worried about Grandma's health. Then Sarah came by after work. Selim is very grateful to Sarah for saving his grandmother's life. And Sarah said all she wanted was for her to be healthy. Then Selim's father came out of the hospital room. He also thanked Sarah and said that Grandma had called Selim into the room. So Sarah said she'd go home. Selim's father offered her a ride home to thank her. But as soon as they drove up to Sarah's building, they ran into Sarah's mother coming back from the grocery store. Isn didn't realize that his first love was his son's girlfriend's mother. They didn't expect to see each other again after so many years in such a way. But neither of them said a word. On the surface, they looked calm. But inside they were in turmoil. Selim's father realized that his son's girlfriend was the daughter of his first love. He never thought fate would bring the two families together again in this way. On the other hand, Selim's stepmother secretly embezzled a large amount of the company's assets and gave it to her father for safekeeping. That night, Selim's father came to him. He sincerely apologized to Selim, which shocked Selim as he knew his father better than anyone else. <laughs> Selim's conflict with her father is slowly resolved, after he asks for forgiveness so sincerely. Izan said that he would take Grandma home to live with him. He didn't want her to stay in a hotel alone anymore, so he wanted Selim to come home to leave with him too. Then we could all sit down together for dinner. Of course Selim agreed. That day Bayrsik accidentally left her back in the cab. The driver gave her back to the security guard at the university. The guard's friend, Sarah's neighbor Nasli, saw her. Sarah was the one who got her a job as a coffee shop waitress at the university a month ago. Nasli opened the bag and found a watch inside that looked very valuable. Then she exchanged glances with the security guard. The guard knew what she meant, but he didn't have any good sources for selling second-to-hand goods. So the guard goes to his sister, who is Selim's stepmother. Asina learns that it's Byrsik's watch and senses that it will be of great use in the future. So she pays for the watch. When Asina returned home, the maid told her that grandma was here. Asana, who was so bossy the moment she walked in, was all smiles the next moment. She acts very friendly and greets Grandma. However, her gesture is rejected by Grandma. Asana can't complain because she knows that Grandma is the true head of the family. Grandma also said that she will be staying here for a long time. This made Asana realize that her life in this family would not be easy. Shortly after, Grandma returned to her room and pulled out a bunch of old photos, one of which caught her attention. And it was Sarah's mother who caught her eye. More than 10 years ago, Grandma was very fond of Sarah's mother. However, her son wanted to study abroad, and her husband prevented the marriage. Eventually, these two people who loved each other were separated. This has been Grandma's regret all these years. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'